Let me show you how you can practice exploiting the React 2 shell vulnerability on Hack the Box by doing the React Oops web challenge. So here we are on the challenges side of Hack the Box Labs. At the top, we can search for React Oops to find the web challenge. And this challenge involves us spawning a web server as well as downloading the source code for that web server. So this is what the web application looks like and you can try to interact with this website in any way you can, but there really isn't any dynamic content on this web app. And you'll be able to see this by downloading the source code when you unzip the zip file. So here's the layout of the entire unzip zip file, which is the source code of the application. You can look through the layout TypeScript and the page TypeScript, and you'll notice that there isn't any content that we can interact with dynamically. But if we go down to this package.json file, we'll see that the name is called react to shell and it's using a next.js dependency of 16.0.6. And if we were to go to any vulnerability database that's tracking this vulnerability, we would see that the fixed version for Next.js is 16.0.7 for React 2 Shell. So we know that this web application is vulnerable. And since this vulnerability is so impactful and such a high risk, you already know that there's many proof of concepts available on GitHub, including this React 2 Shell ultimate one that I found here. And we can use it to get a shell on the Hack the Box web application. With React 2 Shell Ultimate downloaded, we can specify Python 3 React 2 Shell.py to list all of its options. And here we see that the tool can perform safe scans, do an RCE proof of concept, scan multiple targets from a file, attempt web application firewall bypasses. But what we want for this box is down here, which is the Python 3 React 2 Shell God mode, where we specify dash dash God, the URL of our target, and then dash dash shell to get an interactive shell. And after hitting enter, we see that the connection was established. We get a message saying that the target is exploitable. We are the root user. And now we can list any commands on the server that we want. 